Hey everyone, this is Aaron on the Fusion 360 team over here at Autodesk. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the marking menu as a part of this quick tip. To access the, the marking menu, just right click and hold. If you've never done it before, you're going to see this pop up and it's going to help you understand with the different commands available to you. So it is dependent on the workspace that you're in, so you might see something different depending on what you're doing right now. All you need to do to use any one of these commands is just, you know, right click and hold and pass through the one that you want to do. So I'm going to use the press pull here. And just like that, I'm going to add some fillets to the end of this crank. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I actually want to start to, to sketch. And if you right-click and go down through the first menu, you're actually going to see the secondary level of the marking menu. So here you're seeing sketch tools like your center diameter circle. You're seeing you know rectangle. You're seeing splines. You're seeing the ability to add dimensions. So it makes you a lot more efficient. That, that secondary level is just going to open up you know twice as many commands, essentially. Just like that, I've, I've created the appropriate sketch. I can close the sketch using my marking menu and then go jump right into my press pull tool. Everyone loves the press pull tool. You can do a lot of things with it here. I'm going to create the hole for the pedals. So hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Uh, make sure to check back often. We're going to be updating these quite a lot. So uh, have a good one. See ya.